So hi everyone, thank you so much for coming to RCSA's Town Hall. My name is Kaylin and my co-director Mark and I will be your MCs for today. We are so excited to share with you all what each of our committees have been up to and answer any questions you may have. Before we begin, I wish to acknowledge this land on which the University of Toronto operates. For thousands of years, it has been the traditional land of the Huron-Wendat, the Seneca, and most recently, the Mississaugas of the Credit River. Today, this meeting place is still the home to many Indigenous people from across Turtle Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. I now would like to go through our agenda for today. All right, so we'll be going through who we are, our mission, our impact, culture, and our committees. And then each of our committees will give a presentation of their current tasks and current projects. And then we'll end off with a Q&A panel session. So now we will introduce our president and VP and also myself and my co-director. So I will now hand it off to Mavish to introduce herself. Thank you so much, Kaylin. Thank you so everyone for who's joining us here today. My name is Mavish. I'm the president of the Rotman Commerce Students Association. I'm going to my fourth year and doing a specialist in public accounting. And just a cute fun fact is I am obsessed with singing Taylor Swift songs, which I don't sing really well. <laughs> and I'll hand it off to our, part, our vice president, Will. <laughs> Sorry, I was muted there. So my, my name is Will and I'm heading into my fourth year um, specializing in management. And I am a caffeine addict, especially recently with school starting again. And i um, excited to talk to you all about RCSA, what we've been up to, and, and also get a little bit of questions uh, from you guys as well. Always good to hear um, what the, what the, what, what's going on with, with the program. Awesome. So I'm Kaylin, as I mentioned before, and I'm the Director of Internal Affairs. I'm a third year management student and I'm too obsessed with my dog. <laughs> I bring him to meetings like that's how obsessed. <laughs> and hey guys, I'm Mark. I'm also a Director of Internal Affairs and I'm in my fourth year of finance and I love U of T food trucks. Um, I don't know if you guys had the chance yet, but Go visit the green Sharma truck in front of um, the Robarts Library, if you could. Delish. Oh my God. All right, I just saw uh, Trang's comment. I'll maybe bring him in the end. He doesn't like me, so that's what I mean by too obsessed, but uh, we'll see. Um, so we're going to introduce Ramen Commerce Students Association. So we'll go through who we are. Um, on the next slide, we'll have a QR code for you, and we'll go through uh, or we'll do a word cloud. So we'll ask you a question of uh, what do you think RCSA does? And uh, once you scan that QR code, uh, you can plug in a word that you think RCSA uh, does or what we're about. Um, and then we'll get a nice word cloud after that. Okay, um, do you guys see the screen share for Slido? Yes. Okay, if you guys could just scan the QR code and then enter words for um, what you think RCSA does and then we'll get a word cloud going. So please do that right now. While you're doing that, let me try and go find my dog. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, for sure. I love the family IOY. So cute. Yeah. I don't know if that was intentional or not. Probably, right? It, no, I think it definitely was intentional. Yeah, or you wouldn't spell it that way. <laughs> so cute. Aw, Stacy. I this love the words coming. Oh, oh hello. wow. <laughs> He looks like he loves you. No. <laughs> such a, like, he's such a scared dog. He's scared of everything. I think he just barked at a leaf, at a leaf moving, so. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh my goodness. Aww, it's so cute. It's so small. I would bring my dog, but like, um, it's a German Shepherd. She's, she's like kind of huge, so I can't really carry her out. We should do just a dog talent show later. Yeah, you know, like town hall, really. We should just have our dogs <laughs> present for us, right? Oh, 
Um, I love the words that are coming in, community advocacy, representing, helping yeah. hand, empower. These words, yeah, these words are really amazing. Definitely. And that's exactly like all the words that we hope RCSA means to you as well. Okay, um, we'll just give it maybe a couple more seconds, maybe 30 more seconds and yeah. Yeah, I feel like everybody touched upon really good points here. Like, honestly, for RCSA, couldn't have described it better. All right, let's jump back to the presentation. Oops. Yeah, so now we'll hand it off to Mavish and Will uh, just to give a further explanation of what RCSA is all about. Yeah, um, to start off, I think a lot of the words are very accurate and I think um, they pretty aptly decide, um, describe what we're all about and I'll go over um, kind of exactly what uh, we do at RCSA and that'll hopefully give you guys an idea that it'll kind of set you up for what we're going to talk about, about what we've um, been doing for the past few months, as well as later on in the Q&A, it'll kind of guide you guys towards um, asking some questions and concerns about um, things that are going on in RC that, are, that maybe we can help um, advocate for it as well. So um, yeah, next slide please. So what does RCSA do exactly? So to start, I think our mission, um, that's probably where um, everything originates and it's really to serve the best interest of the Ram Commerce students at the University of Toronto, um, thereby enriching their academic lives and experiences through political and academic representation. And that is described by our three pillars of focus here, which are student representation, student development, and student engagement. So on the next slide, I'll start by um, diving a little bit deeper into these and um, how, how exactly do we achieve um, these three pillars that we're trying to do. So for student representation, it's all about advocacy, openness to conversation, and multi-channel engagement. I think this is especially true in this year when um, there's been so much going on, whether it be equity, diversity, diversity and inclusion, as well as um, international students, um, as well as just 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 everything happening with COVID right nineteen, right? So um, definitely, I'm trying to step up our game for this year uh, for advocacy, and for student development, we're really about um, skill building workshops, um, student talent showcasing, and building connections within students. Um, and this is not about building corporate relations, although we have a little bit of that as well, but more so about um, connecting students to each other and 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 developing students in 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 that way. And our third pillar is about student engagement. And here we have building communities, engaging the student body and developing a culture here at the um, Raman Commerce uh, program in general and not just our CSA. And for student engagement this year, we're really focused on really becoming that umbrella um, organization that supports the other uh, multitude of uh, 27 student groups that we have here at Raman Commerce. Now we're, we're trying our best to support them to ensure that um, student life now for all RC students are as, as, as good as it can be. So now a little bit about our impact. So what exactly, uh, oh actually, uh, yeah, perfect. So what, what exactly have we been up to and what exactly are some um, efforts that we've, we've, we've done in the past? So within each year, we hold 10 plus social opportunities for students across all years. We have professional development workshops for international students in first years. And on, in terms of advocacy, some of the stuff that we, we would um, be responsible for are, for example, advocating for academic changes in, in, in academics. For example, um, splitting courses such as ECO 100 into ECO 101 and 102, um, advising moving um, courses from second year to first year to give, give you guys a better idea before you guys move into your specialists, as well as um, just advocating for transparency within student club creation, recruitment, and so on. That, that, that's a major focus for this year. And every single year, we also run obviously a lot of events, and there's also around kind of 2,000 participants each year in our events. So, so, so hopefully that gives you guys a bit of an idea of what we do as an organization um, throughout throughout the school years. Awesome. Uh, next slide, please. So, um, the way we achieve this is through our team, and our team is consisting of 42 members, um, not including our internship team, which will be. We're in the process of hiring as well. So anyone that's interested, a plug there if, if, to, to apply. And um, kind of our team consists of 
um, eight different um, sub teams. So we have our events team, um, advocacy team, marketing, ISL, external relations, internal affairs, um, yearbook, as well as the president of portfolio, which consists of president, president, vice president, and treasurer. And these portfolios will go in a little bit of detail. They'll each um, later on explain what they do and what have they been up to in the past um, few months of the summer already. Awesome. Um, next slide, please. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a um, guideline of our events as well. Um, so we have some um, coming up throughout the entire year. And when, within September, we have the President's Panel, which is coming up soon, as well as next month, the FCO and Mental Health Day. So that, that's just a bit of idea of what, uh, on the event side, that, that, we've, we, that we'll do throughout the year. And um, yeah, definitely keep an eye out on Portal for, for a lot of these events. They're, they're super, super fun. They're, a, a lot of our events are focused on kind of um, community building. So, so, so they're just there for, for, for you to really go out and have fun. So yeah, um, next we'll be moving on to individual portfolios and they'll be kind of talking about what they've been up to and, 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 and to give you guys an idea of how your student body, uh, how your student organization has been, has been serving you. Thanks so much, Will. So I'm going to go through sort of our president portfolio, which is more of updates from Will and I in terms of our roles and what exactly we've been doing. So Will and I are the president and vice president. So we are the official student representatives for the Rotman Commerce program and making sure that we always represent all of our students' concerns and voice them to appropriate parties. Um, obviously, we lead our 48 member team of RCSA, which are the best family ever. So we're very excited to be all always working with them. Um, for our vision for this year, um, we wanted to strive towards obviously a student union. So we wanted to be more on the advocacy side of students. Um, so although we had a lot of great community building events, we now wanted to make sure that we voiced a lot of student concerns. Um, this involves holding public meetings just like this town hall and making sure that we continue to be very transparent and communicative with our student body. Um, we also have 27 uh, RC groups, which we are now fully uh, making sure that we are supporting them and making sure that we are communicating um, all all of the different logistics events and support that they need um, and then obviously the biggest biggest focus for this year has been equity diversity and inclusion so um, our entire team has been working super super hard to make sure that we are advocating for initiatives that are very EI focused so that we can represent and have and allow accessibility to students for all different kinds of initiatives in our program um, so sort of on the next slide we'll see a little bit more about the things that we've done and our plans now coming up that we want to continue. So what we have done so far is in the summer, our team got together really, really fast to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic to make sure that we create a list of resources to send out to Rotman Commerce students. Um, another thing that we did is helped in the orientation efforts this year. So we were supporting all of the clubhouse virtual uh, sessions for all of the 27 Rotman groups. And we actually recently did another orientation organization for all of the UFT groups that are sort of Rotman Commerce affiliated or have lots of Rotman Commerce members and interests. Um, another thing that we've been working on is keeping in touch with our director of Rotman Commerce, which is Alex Mackay, and holding monthly meetings with her to make sure that we check in and continue to push for EDI initiatives, which is something that you'll see on our social platforms in the coming weeks. And last but not least, definitely not limited to this, is we were also working on issues regarding tuition increases, um, the cancellation of convocation, our transition to online courses, and so much more. So our entire team has been very busy on multiple different issues, so it's really amazing to see our work coming to life and supporting students. In terms of plans for this coming year, we want to make sure that we continue these advocacy efforts. So thank you so much for attending our town hall because these are things that we need to get student input. Um, other things that we want to do is continue pushing EDI improvements within our program, which includes training for student leaders and also hiring practices for um, all the student groups that we have. And last but not least, obviously having more avenues for student input to make sure that we are always including you guys in any decision making processes for our program. Um, so that was a lot, but it's a lot of just student advocacy and making sure we get a lot of your input. I will definitely pass it off now to our, I believe, uh, internal portfolio to talk about more what our CSA has in store. Mark, I think you're muted. Sorry, I thought I turned it on. Okay, so yeah, hey guys, I'm Mark and I'm part of the internal affairs and I'll be going over the, some of the stuff we're doing and what we will be doing. So one of our current projects right now is we're planning and administrating team building activities within RCSA. So 
it's really important that RCSA works well together and we're really like a close-knit family. And one way to do this is through socials or other team building activities where we engage in so that we could get to know each other better so that we could work together better. So it's very important for us to really find these things for everyone to do and really bond over. And then we've also been researching hiring, ethical hiring practices for our upcoming intern. And um, a lot of you might know if you're in first year that our application deadline is actually September 30th for our CSA. And then, yeah, this year we're really pushing for ethical hiring. So we'll be blinding the resume, which means we won't be seeing your name when we review it. We'll just really focus on the content about what makes it what makes you stand out more rather than about all of the other demographics or background stuff. And some other upcoming projects we have is obviously we got to continue hosting socials for our CSA and we're also beginning to um, hire these interns that are coming in. So October is going to be a really busy month for us. We're going to review hundreds of applications, interview a lot of people, and then, yeah, we're really excited to see your applications if you're applying. And yeah, hopefully we'll get to see you next year, this year. And yeah, um, part of the thing, part of our program for interns is that we, we want you to come into RCSA and not just chill and not learn anything. We really want you to learn what RCSA is all about. And we want you to really know what events we do and then really develop you as an individual as a whole and then we'll be doing this through mentorship programs workshops and also the committee rotation program and then next i'll be passing it off to i believe events to talk about what they've been doing Perfect. Thank you, Mark. Um, so hi, everyone. I'm Doreen. I'm the events director. Um, alongside with my co-director, Heather. See if she's here. We'll be giving you a little bit of an update about what has what are we working on so far. So first, I would like to start with the kind of the goal of the events team is to engage all the students within the Rotman Commerce community um, and develop a enriched student life through hosting events from various perspectives, including both kind of the social and professional nature. So throughout the past months, we have worked on two different events. First, we have the RCSA first year orientation, where we actually had an amazing turnout of more than 170 students. And in there, we provide a lot of very interactive learning opportunities with some of the RCSA executives. And last week, we also hosted our resume and cover letter workshop, where we provided more than 30 one on one review sessions for first year students to go over their um, application, including resume and cover letter, as well as offering a lot of additional resources such as tips, as well as sample resumes. And next up, I'll be passing it on to Heather to walk you through a little bit on our future events and future outlook. Awesome. Thanks, Doreen. So uh, in the very, very near future, we will have the president panel on September 28th and 29th, which is next week. Uh, the first one will be focusing academic groups. Second one will be focusing on interest groups. And this will be super interesting for you because if you intend to apply for a first year internship with any other student group, you will have a better idea of what they do. So I encourage you all to sign up. And secondly, we have the CEO case competition coming up in October, which is a great chance for you to get a taste of case competitions through uh, meeting with peers and applying skills outside of the classroom and um, working with a team. So in the future, other than these events that I've mentioned earlier on, we also aim to increase event accessibility to all students, whether it be your financial needs, time zones or accessibility needs. And at the same time, we want to provide more interactive opportunities during events through the online format. That's a huge feedback we've gotten in the past, and we are working to look for different ways to make events more interactive than we have now. Uh, lastly, we are also collecting and reflecting on student feedback. After every event, we send out a survey to ask for what you think about our event, and we will be looking for future improvements, especially for the online format. So i uh, really happy to provide kind of this overview. And next up, I'll be passing it on to advocacy. 
Thank you so much, Heather. Um, so hi, everyone. My name is Jessica, and I'm one of the directors of advocacy. So within my, per, um, my portfolio, it is our goal to identify, um, advocate, and provide support for students' needs um, and concerns within the Rotman Commerce community. Um, recently, my team and I have been working on three initiatives um, during the past few months. Um, the first one being the COVID-19 course feedback survey, where we collected over 60 responses. And we also worked very closely with the University of Toronto Student Union, as well as the Arts and Science Student Union. Uh, within this particular survey, we found that 62% of our respondents found a new credit, no credit policy advantageous. So for those of you who don't know, um, is that um, the new credit, no credit policy is um, you don't have to decide whether you want to do it until you see your final marks. So we're actually trying to implement this to be a permanent um, policy. And if you haven't already filled out the survey, please let me know and I can send out the link in the chat. Um, and also 66% preferred a final assessment over a final exam. So we're also communicating with the um, Dean of the Arts and Science um, arts and sciences to kind of discuss whether or not we can implement more assessments than final exams. Uh, another initiative that we have been working on um, is the International Tuition Feedback Survey. Uh, we gathered over 200 responses within 48 hours and also worked very closely with UTSU and ASSU. We were also featured on City News Toronto and within our 200 plus respondees, um, respondents, we found that 92% of them experienced financial strains due to COVID-19 and 97% disagreed with the increase. Um, it is uncertain whether or not the university will, um, you know, like stop the increase or freeze the tuition, but we are um, in the progress of um, just kind of advocating for in our international students to get more financial funding and more um, resources um, to help you um, to pay for your tuition. And lastly, we've been working um, for equitable and inclusive hiring practices with our internal team. Uh, for example, if you're in first year right now and you're applying to one of our RCSA um, first year intern um, positions, we are actually implementing the blind resume screening process where um, our internal team does not see your name until we have selected you to, for, um, to kind of move on to the next round. Um, this just kind of reduces potential selection bias as well as just maximizing the overall fairness for all first year applicants. Uh, next slide, please. And so if you're interested in learning a little bit more about what my team and I do, uh, we do have four incoming events with World Mental Health Day, the most, um, the most, you know, like it's coming up in two weeks, uh, first week of October. Um, and there's also a coffee chat with upper years and a Bell Let's Talk Day and an annual end of year focus group. Uh, we are also working on four future surveys uh, or projects, with the first one being the first year intern hiring survey, which we will, be, we will be sending out towards the end of October, an online learning survey towards the end of first semester, and a mental health survey towards the beginning of second semester, and an end of year general survey towards the second semester. If you have any questions, feel free to message um, either myself or Ting, my co-director, um, and I will now pass it on to our International Students Liaison Committee. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Jessica. Uh, hi, everyone. My name is George. Um, I'm the co-director of the International Students Liaison, uh, along with Yang. And um, uh, for this year, uh, our vision uh, will be to um, empower the international students within the Rotten Commerce community. So this community uh, was created under the purpose of representing and helping international students in their transition uh, into the Canadian business and academic environment. Uh, so just to start off, we do have two upcoming projects. First, a set of orientation videos aimed towards any incoming first year students at RC. Um, you will find tips and tricks um, regarding academics and beyond. So make sure to monitor our social media. They will be posted very soon. Um, second, our Canadian Business Workshop um, has been running for the past four years. Uh, this year, however, we've mixed things up a little bit and we've recalled it uh, the Business Etiquette Workshop. And we have partnered with the Rotten Commerce Entrepreneurship Organization. 
uh, more info can be found on the portal regarding this event and um, when to attend. Um, while the fall semester has been completely transi transitioned online, we really hope to be able to hold some in-person initiatives uh, next semester. Uh, first of all, as its name states, Toronto 101 will essentially be a tour of the city and of our St. George campus. Second, the International uh, Networking Night um, will be an event for anyone who is looking into discovering coffee chats, networking, and the business world here, here in Toronto. Uh, and finally, the International Food Fest will hopefully be uh, an event where you can come and enjoy food from uh, the different cultures around RC. So this event will be planned uh, before final exams, uh, just to uh, bring, bring up good, good vibes uh, from the RCSA. Uh, so finally, for the long term, we do have two initiatives the ISL would like to work on. Uh, first of all, as Advocacy and Jessica mentioned previously, uh, we will be moving forward with the international tuition fees issue. Uh, and finally, our international students report uh, will be our baseline for any of our future projects. So through this report and uh, the survey, we will be able to speak directly to international students within Rotten Commerce. Uh, so I will now pass it off to our amazing marketing team, which represents the face of the RCSA. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I hope you all are having a beautiful um, morning, afternoon. I'm actually in India, so it's like midnight over here. Um, I'm Adnan, and I'm one of the marketing committee members for this year. I'll be presenting on behalf of our marketing director, Jennifer, who unfortunately couldn't be here today. So the goal for our committee this year is to continue to engage with the student body and keep students up to date with everything happening in the RCSA and in Rotman Commerce. Especially during the current pandemic, our, digi our digital presence is now more important than ever and we hope to continue to connect students through our online communities. One of the biggest responsibilities for marketing is to maintain our various social media accounts. We have been constantly creating content such as posters and videos to help promote events, give reminders of important dates, and help you get to know us a little better. So some of the things we are currently working on and will continue to work on include redesigning the RCSA website with the external committee to make it a central hub of information and resources for students, for which they'll continue to speak more about in the next slide. As well as not to mention, uh, we're, we continue to keep students up to date on announcements and opportunities within the RC community. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, Anand. Um, my name is Kira, and I am the co-director of external relations at RCSA, alongside with my amazing partner, Joshua. External relations portfolio is responsible for all these external communication with either corporations and campus student societies. And our goal is to really build a strong presence for RCSA in our community, either on campus and off campus, as well as providing resources and support for students within Robin Commerce. So we do multiple initiatives to build that public and external relations. And the first initiatives that we started is the Student Life Guide in collaboration with our amazing team over at Marketing and Yearbook, uh, but also with the contribution from all the student societies listed and Rotman Commerce Program Office as well. So this really introduces the different student societies in Rotman Commerce, an available resource on campus too. So this is now available for everyone to take a look at on the RCSA website. Great. Hi everyone, I'm Joshua. I'm the other Director of External Relations. Another initiative that External is taking on this year, as Adnan and Marketing mentioned, is helping to redesign the website because we really want to have focus on RCSA serving as the internal information hub for all things Robin. So we'll have information about academic support, extracurriculars, and so people can uh, be in the know about what's going on in the RC community. And as well, we're working on a sponsorship package that we're going to try to connect with sponsors and have different partnerships to really um, help bring RCSA events to the next level and to serve to benefit all RC students uh, as a whole. 
And if you think it's a great partnership opportunity for RCSA, we'll be more than happy to hear it. And we look forward to being, uh, working with the rest of the team for the rest of the year. And now we'll pass it on to your book to talk more about, about what they've been up to. Thank you, Josh. Hi, everyone. This is Nadine, one of the editors-in-chief of the Rotten Yearbook this year. So as you can see, our main goal is to compile a thorough and interactive annual recap of the many Rotman Commerce events, organizations, and individuals just like you who are helping to enrich the Rotman experience. So we had a pretty busy summer strategizing on how to switch up this year's yearbook to really reflect on what will definitely be a year to remember. We decided to add a lot more student-focused pages in addition to all those Zoom screenshots of all the events that you're attending. We also recently held a Name Your Yearbook contest and we are super excited to announce that this year's yearbook name is, drum roll, Life in Pixels. The inspiration behind this was how this year, every aspect of our lives is gonna be online. And because we like to engage all the RCSA members with our design uh, process, we also recently voted on the color scheme and theme for this year's yearbook. So keep your eyes peeled for that because we have some very exciting things coming your way. Also, our team is currently hard at work discussing other aspects of design and how we can better reflect you and the amazing year that you're gonna have. This will involve representing you by collecting more original student content, like I said, like how you're navigating this remote academic year, tips and tricks that you're learning along the way, and so many more cool things. In the very near future, we're going to need all of your help deciding on the perfect yearbook cover. So we'll have a few design options and you get to pick your favorite. RCSA is all about student representation and so your opinion matters to us in the big and small decisions. More than ever, we're focused on making a yearbook that you can see yourself in and feel like you were a part of. Like I said, we're, also, we're, gonna, we're gonna make our student content a lot more representative of what your year has been like, and we don't just mean submitting photos. We also want cool videos and TikToks of what you're getting up to. This year's yearbook is gonna be a lot more interactive in more ways than one, so stay tuned to see what we have in store for you. Thank you. Awesome, thanks so much to all of our lovely directors and also Adnan from marketing. Uh, so now we'll be doing a Q&A session. Um, I think there's another QR code for you guys um, to enter any of your questions that you have. You can also enter them into the chat. And we have um, a panel of our RCSA members, but also if any other RCSA members wanna answer any questions, feel free to do so. Um, so yeah, definitely just send in your questions. Oh yeah, Mavish just said, if you didn't see the chat, questions can be anything Rotman related. I think we actually had a couple from our, um, we had a couple from our pre-survey as well, right? I think if we could, Maybe start off with those ones to give everyone an idea of, of what kind of questions we're 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 kind of um, we're, we're we're kind of looking for. But again, open to all questions as well. Yeah, sure. Wait, let me find the pre-survey. Do you have it, Will? Uh, let me. Yeah, actually, I can pull it up really quick. Um, so, um, first question uh, we have is. Um, this year, RCSA seems a lot more active than previous years in terms of advocacy. What has led to this change? Um, does anyone want to take that question? Um, I can take that question. So in terms of advocacy for this year, our entire team was very committed to making sure that we wanted to become more of a student union and be more transparent and communicative to the student body. Um, and just making sure that we have a really tight knit team that is able to do really fast actions in terms of events that are coming up like convocation, COVID-19, EDI. Um, we were able to obviously execute that vision really, really well for the summer and we hope to continue that for the year. Um, so it's just something that we want to do to make sure that ramen commerce students have an avenue to voice themselves because we felt like there was not enough uh, student avenues for you to voice your concerns and come to a body of students that you can feel trusted with um, to come with any of your concerns and recommendations and suggestions. So I'm glad that you can see the advocacy that we are doing and we definitely hope to continue it. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely agree. I think one thing we've learned this year is you have to be like, it's a buzzword, but you have to be agile 
because everything can change. And last year, it was um, last year's theme for advocacy was really mental health, and this year it's really been ADI. And I think as as time goes on, it might be different from year to year, and we just really need. Um, as RCSA, always be ready to to respond to those um, as soon as possible. So yeah. Um, next question, very interesting. What's the plan for gala this year? If it's virtual events only or in person, but required to have mask or something like that, um, does events know what's happening with gala this year? I guess I can take that question. Um, that's definitely a hard one to answer because it's just current situation and impose a lot of uncertainties on it. Um, I think at this stage, our team, of course, the ideal situation or all of our hope is that next year we will be able to enter into a stage that's safe enough to conduct gala. Uh, however, so far, we'll just be closely monitoring the situation if it's not allowed. Heather and I are definitely planning uh, contingencies in terms of digital uh, substitutes or you know virtual alternatives to give that um, that same experience as close as possible. Awesome. Um, so we have one question about why is two hundred four um, eco two hundred four? Why is it an required? Why is it a required course? As a management student in the course, um, you don't seem to. It does not seem applicable to any management students. Um, and geared to be only for finance students. So why is management students required to take 204? Um, I think that's a really great question. I think in my opinion, um, the, the, the way I thought about it um, when I saw this question was that um, I think at the foremost, um, management specialist is a specialization, right? But at the core, you're getting a commerce degree. And I think that's where the requirement comes in. Um, in order to get a commerce degree, you need to pass 204. And on top of that, if you choose to specialize in management, then you get to um, pick a lot more management courses. I think I think that's the reason. But um, we'll definitely keep that question in mind, and we'll 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 try to figure out what is the official response from the school for that as well. Um, just to follow up on uh, what Will mentioned, um, as a commerce students, we also do have. Uh, an econ minor. So regardless if you're in finance and econ or management, you do have a, a minor in economics. Uh, and through that, Eco 204 is one of the key, the key econ courses because it is a prerequisite for, the, uh, for most of the third year econ courses. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, for those of you that don't know, everyone automatically gets a econ minor and you have to declare it on Acorn otherwise it doesn't count, so make sure to do that before you graduate. Okay, awesome. Um, Are those all I'll, questions from the survey? Yeah, I think maybe we'll, um, if internal, you guys could just go through the yeah, rest of the sure. that'd be awesome. Um, I think there was one in the chat, and then we'll go through the ones from the Slido. Um, so the one in the chat is from Jessie, and she said, why did you choose to join RCSA? Does anybody have any answers for that? Hey, Dean, you're a recent intern. You want to take this question? <laughs> I was just about to turn off my um, mute thing. But yeah, okay, so coming into Rotman Commerce, I was really scared that university would feel like a very big, bad and scary environment. I didn't really know anyone coming in. Most of my friends went to universities abroad, like in the UK, and things like that. So I was afraid that being at U of T would be really intimidating. And I found out very soon within like my Rotman Commerce orientation that RCSA was the kind of group that would like bring everyone in and like foster a very, very safe and very encouraging environment. So I knew then and there that this was the kind of community that I wanted to be a part of. And so I applied, I shot my shot and it worked out. And my first year with RCSA was absolutely amazing. And that's what inspired me to keep on like being a part of this amazing group. So this is why I joined. Exactly. Totally agree. Love that, Nadine. Uh, does anybody else have any uh, answers for that? Or should we move on to the next question? I think pretty similar sentiments across across the board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, all right, just, so let's do... Oh, sorry, go on. I just wanted to add something quickly. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like in a nutshell, when I... Um, sorry, I'm like covering the mouth. Um, in a nutshell, when I looked upon how um, 
when I saw some RCSA, RCSA events and I attended some of these events and then that's how I got attracted to uh, uh, signing up for the internship, first year internship program, I realized that apart from a lot of uh, entities that Rotman Commerce, let alone UFT, uh, UFT, let alone Rotman Commerce, and as well as uh, other extracurricular clubs, I realized the RCSA is like the RCSA is not here to assess you; it's here to help you. So that's like basically it. Like there's no there's no judgment, no testing being done. We're here to help you, and we're here to include you and feel like one of us and have a sense of belonging. So that's what mattered to me the most. Thank you. Very true, very true. Yeah, awesome, thanks Adnan. Um, so we'll move on to the next question. What if we don't have much to put in our resume, what makes a good cover letter? Does anybody have any tips? Uh, I could take this one, I guess, cause I'm the one hiring. <laughs> um, so, well, I'm one of the ones hiring. So, well, the thing about resume is it's, a, it's something where it allows us to really see what you are you know like what are the things you have interest in what are some skill sets you have and then if you really don't have too much to find your resume just think about what makes you special like say you volunteered at a summer camp or um you worked at some random place it's all okay it's about how you try to word it and um try to structure it so that it makes you stand out and then it puts your skills skill sets into the spotlight so don't stress too much about that because we know that a lot of the first years coming in are high school students just graduating and then you know they don't have a lot of professional work experience so really don't stress too much about that just really try to show us what makes you special on your resume and then same thing goes for a good cover letter too we want to see your personality we really want to see what makes you shine and then it's a two-way thing you know it's um we're investing in you and you're investing in us. So we want you to show uh, your interest in us. And then we want some interest from you too. We want to see what makes you interesting. So yeah, that would be the tips I have for resume and cover letters. So yeah, don't be I discouraged, definitely apply. And yeah, Kaylin, do you have something to add? Yeah, no, I was just gonna add um, the tips that I've given to people that have asked me specifically about um, applying for the internship. Um, I've always said just uh, look at RCSA's three pillars and see how your skills align with them and then highlight those. Um, and this question doesn't ask like specifically for the internship, but I think that advice goes for any company. Just see their pillars or their values and then uh, highlight how your skills align with those. Um, I think that's a good tip. Does anybody else have anything to add? Yeah, totally. No? Okay. so. Um, tips for getting through 204. A lot of 204 hater, <laughs> but it's tough. Uh, yeah, so anybody Remember have tips? Time. Well, inter uh, I can answer this question for 204. To be honest, I think if you get the gist of it, it's actually pretty interesting. Or is it just me? <laughs> <laughs> like if you start doing it, it starts to get relaxing. And then <laughs> okay, Pick don't. Out. I, I think Pick some people out. might dis disagree. Enjoy, <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> relaxing. Oh my god. <laughs> like I think there is um like a subtle trick to it. Like towards um at first it might be hard to get, but then afterwards, after you start to get more practice, after you start to um talk to other people and like study together i think it gets more interesting and hopefully interesting for you guys um and i do have also study groups and i really would highly recommend other people to do that too to like form a group of people and you can answer each other's questions and i think uh learning together and supporting each other is really uh very important um in my journey in Rotman commerce and um hopefully you guys can also form some study groups and get some support from each other and to uh, be successful academic together as well. Thanks, Kira. I definitely oh, agree. Nice. Does anybody else have anything to add for tips? No, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna step in and, and say that I'm like the opposite of Kira, where like I hated 204 with like my like my entire existence. Okay, and I think like I mean, if you like a course, it's very easy to stay on top of it. When when you don't, I think it's really easy to slip into that. Oh, I'll put it off until later. I'll work on the courses that I like. You know, and like, although it's like probably advice that you get very often, I think 
stay on top of it in the sense that like every single week try to try to stay a little bit of ahead because when, when you in this course you don't like it's really easy to fall behind it's really easy to just say you know what screw this it doesn't matter but at the end of the day it's gonna sting if you don't it's gonna sting the gpa uh it's gonna sting other things as well you might not learn as much i know that 204 used to prep you for 332 but now they don't have that um so just i think 204 is actually a pretty important course and you will learn a, quite a bit but just remember to stay on top of it even if you don't like it uh, it'll help help you push you through to push you across the finish line i think for sure ben thanks so much does anybody else have any last things to add for tips or let's go to the next question yeah okay uh so besides ethical hiring practices what other edi initiatives are you working on i think that's sort of towards advocacy Right. Yeah, so um, we have been doing a lot of like surveys. So we, I think Jessica had mentioned before, so we had done like um, international tuition. So um, we also, oh, okay. Um, so we have done like two surveys right now. So the first one being the international tuition um, due to like increases, but um, now we're also focusing on like um, how to adjust to online learning. So we wanted to make like online learning really accessible for everyone um, throughout like different time zones. So we're currently working on that. And um, yesterday we are, we just had a meeting with uh, ASSU, so which is like Arts and Science Student Union. And um, we're actually pushing forward for um, credit, no credit to um, like the deadline to be after the final. So um, people can actually try their best for um, their um, final grades. Like after their final grades, they can decide whether they can, um, they should uh, credit owner credit it um, because um, this way that people won't just drop a course before knowing that um, they haven't tried for the test and um, sometimes the tests are really big portions right so these are some like um, EDF initiatives we're um, pushing for and um, just stay tuned and we'll keep you guys updated yeah awesome thanks Tang Sorry, Kelly, do you mind if I just add a little oh, bit yeah, to this? Sure. I saw a question in the chat as well that addressed the equity and RC account and talking about how no. RCSA might be addressing some of these issues. Um, so like Ting said, we are working on m numerous surveys and different initiatives, um, mm -hmm. looking at the submissions from students from various uh, backgrounds and student concerns. The way that we are addressing them is making sure that we get student leaders to have training to make sure that we have ethical hiring practices and you are going to hear about this in the coming week but hopefully a new program administrative email account that allows you to go and put your concerns there that the ramen commerce staff can answer directly to you and address so we're always listening and hearing out to all of the concerns so we're making sure that rcsa is definitely in the forefront of working on those issues and like ting said you'll hear a lot about our edi initiatives in the coming uh, weeks in terms of how we have responded to the student concerns that have come up. Thanks, Mavish. Uh, so I think we just have one more question, which is when will the applications to join RCSA open uh, as an upper year student? Um, so I think the hiring for next year is in like March or April, or like Mav and Will can correct me if I'm wrong, I think, I don't know. Is that right? Yes, I think this question might be for intern hiring. I'm. Oh, I thought it was like the follow-up was like as an upper year student. Is that not right? Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, okay. <laughs> so it is. It is in February slash March. So February for directors, and then March for committee members. Awesome. Uh, does anybody else have any last questions? You can even type it in the chat if you want. I don't think there's any more in the chat. No, maybe not. I guess we can go back to our PowerPoint then. Sorry, someone is Mark. Are you oh, so? Are okay. You? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just have this thing blocking me. Okay. So yeah, um, we're really glad that you could attend our town hall this year, and then hopefully we'll have more to come. And then we really hope you enjoyed everything, and then you know you got to see what we're doing. And then some of the things that are coming up is we have the.
president panel on September 28th and um, another president's panel, the, the second one on the 29th. And then as we mentioned, the deadline to apply for the first year internship program is on September 30th, 9 a.m. So if you want to become an intern at ICSA, be sure to apply. Also, World Mental Health Day is coming up October 9th, and first year CEO case comp workshop is on October 14th. Um, I believe um, events has more details on that, but it's a really good workshop to really prepare you for um, the case comp. And then, yeah, the actual case comp will be occurring on October 24th, and really hope you guys could all attend and really participate in RCSA events. So if you have any more questions for us, um, you can contact me or Kaylin, Jessica and Ting here. We have our contact inf information. We'll leave it up for a bit. And then, yeah, these are our social media information. So be sure to contact us. Thank you so much.